recording. Hello, uh, my name is Thomas Davis and I am 21 years old. What ethnicity are you? I mean, sure, I'm sure everyone is like, what are you? I get, um, I get asked what my ethnicity is a lot. Uh, I am Mexican. Um, I'm also Hispanic, like from Spain. Um, a little Portuguese. Um, there's some German in my background. I'm also African American. Who's that? This is Stewie. This is my dog, Stewie. Yeah. I moved out to Los Angeles three years ago to pursue my dreams to be a performer. <laughs> okay. Earlier in 2013, I was diagnosed with HIV. So how did how did you take that? Do you remember that day like vividly to this day? Um, I remember it very very well, actually very vividly. Um, one of my friends he uh, hit me up because he wanted to go in to get tested, and um, I had been out of town, and I got back in town, and he literally uh shot me a text that day and was like, oh, I need a ride to go into Hollywood. I don't want to get tested. Um, if you want to come with me, you know that'd be cool too. And I was like, okay, yeah. So we went, and um, <clears throat> the girl that uh, was uh, facilitating my test, she was actually a trainee. It was her first day. She looked down and saw that the test was positive. Um, and at that point, the guy that was facilitating her, that was watching her, uh, took over and uh, gave me the second rapid test, and that came out positive as well. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to think. Um, I was really numb at first. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they were expecting me to have kind of a more dramatic reaction, because I just was like, okay, well, uh, what do we do now and just kind of I didn't really I didn't really react I guess at the time I didn't really know whether to be scared or whether to be sad or or angry like I just I really wasn't um, feeling anything when I you know when I was told that what do you think has changed for you since then is it the same do you think you bottled some of the emotions in or do you still feel the same way um <clears throat> I'm not that bothered by it still. I mean, but um, one thing that changed, I think, was after that day, I just I slowly uh, stopped getting bothered by the most things that would annoy me every day. Uh, I decided that um, no matter how hard it was, I was going to try to keep just a positive mindset through the whole experience. My doctor explained to me that HIV was no longer a death sentence. Uh, and encouraged me to keep on living my life and not to uh, stop doing anything because I was afraid of what may happen. So do the people around you know, or how do you... Um, no, you yeah. Know? It's sometimes hard to figure out when the right time is to share that information, and whether you can really trust that person or not, because um, I've had some people that have gone and told other people about my status, and it's gone around to a few people, which whatever that happens. Um, it's definitely something that you want to share with those that are close to you, but also know that, you know, people talk and, you know, it's, you know, you have to really watch out who um, you share that information with, depending on whether it's something that you are trying to keep under wraps or if it's something that, you know, you don't, you don't mind being publicly known. I mean, I've, uh, after, you know, I was diagnosed, I told one of my friends about a week later, and he's one of my really close friends, and I've, uh, shared it with, actually, with my parents most recently. Oh, and, wow. Yeah, what was their reaction? Um, they were, they were still extremely supportive of me, um, they, you know, still love me, they, uh, they, they weren't upset or mad or anything, um, they always let me know that they're always here for whatever I need. Yes. But yeah, so they've always been extremely supportive and loving of whatever has happened to me. So how do you how do you how do you take care of yourself, or what are, what's the what um, well? Do? I mean, when I went in and talked to the doctor, um, they said that I was actually extremely healthy because I stay so active. The advice that uh, my doctor gave me was just to stay what I was doing and just stay active and you know eating right and exercising and 
you know, just not uh, stopping my life. He told me that was going to be one of the key factors in keeping myself healthy. What advice would you give for someone who's diagnosed with HIV? Um, first off, that uh, this is not going to be the end of you. Uh, it's going to make you stronger. And to just keep a positive mindset through it all and just uh, really live a, a positive life and healthy lifestyle. What is a positive lifestyle to you? Um, to me, a positive lifestyle is staying uh, healthy, active, and happy. So you said you're active. What kind of things are you active in? One of the ways that I stay active is through dance. I dance every single chance that I get. It's what I went to school for and got my major in. Um, but I also, I go and I work out on the beach with a few of my friends and the guy that I work for about three times a week. Uh, he has a workout called Carpasso that I do. Um, and just, yeah. What does that work out like? Is it, is it um, hard? Or like uh, Crepasso. Crepasso is a lot of fun. Good morning, everybody. Right now, James and I are going to Crepasso. And, um, and he infuses soccer conditioning into his um, training. He's gone all around the world and uh, done this. He's been to Brazil, Germany, and India. And he uh, plays a lot of soccer here in LA with Inglewood High School and Beverly Hills High School and a few other. Um, a few other places. You know, he's trained uh, all different types of people with this workout. And he's um, used a lot of the exercises that he learned when he was uh, training in soccer, you know, with the pros. One of the things that I love about this uh, particular workout is Tadeo talks a lot about um, just really being healthy and living a healthy lifestyle, not just by staying active and eating right, but just being happy. Um, it mainly focuses on your legs and your glutes and uh, your abs, so it's like working out that core area. One of the reasons that I love going to Carpasso is that I get to go to the beach almost three times a week. I get to go down to the ocean and see the water, I get to be in the sun, it's really awesome. Today is arm day. Yes, we do work on our arms, on our abs, on our legs. But today he wants to get more into our upper body. So uh, yeah, he was telling me it's going to be killer today, so we will see how it goes. I also get to just kick around a ball and just have a great time with friends and other people that are out there that just want to be in shape and be living healthy lives as well. And I love that I get to have so much fun while working out. I get to kick around a soccer ball, but I also get to work on my body. It's so important to have fun. So what are your eating habits like? <laughs> this past year, uh, I had to change that a lot, actually. Your diet and the foods that you put into your body really do have an effect on your health. That means eating your vegetables, eating your meats, eating your dairy, eating everything. Uh, so I started cooking more. Recently, I've uh, just started trying a lot of different types of stuff. I can put in salads or the different kinds of fish I can buy or just, um, you know, different ways I can, you know, use chicken or, you know, whatever kind of meat I decide to use. My mother taught me how to cook when I was growing up, but um, most of what I do, I've you know kind of just learned on my own by looking at stuff on the internet or talking to friends and having them give me recipes. But yeah, yeah, I like, I enjoy it a lot. It's a lot of fun. I found it can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Delicious. So you keep yourself pretty busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to stay busy. You know, if I'm not, um, if I'm not up and dancing or working out, you know, I'm usually working on the computer or doing something with that. I really don't think about um, my status, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. I just, you know, there are some days when I don't, I don't think about it at all, and you know, there are some days when I think about it a lot. But yeah, I find that um, my mind can stay at ease the busier, you know, the busier I am. What made you want to come out with this now? I mean, it's 2014, we're starting new chapters, but made you wanted to come with it now. As the year went on, I started looking online for other individuals living with HIV and seeing how they were dealing with it. And I saw a lot of videos posted on the uh, You've Got This website, which was extremely encouraging, where, you know, people will post a video that encourages others living with HIV. And really um, encouraged me to be more open about my status with others that were close to me. I wanted to post one of those, but I mean, I tried it a few times and it just, it didn't really, um, it didn't really work too well. I was like, I just didn't really uh, like how the video turned out. But with this video, I really want to hopefully inspire others to speak out about their status as well and not be ashamed and uh, feel like they need to live a, a lie or a secret. Do you feel that you could possibly be that change to bringing awareness to 
African American, Latino, and just ethnic community in general. I think I can be one of the voices from the African and Latino community because um, I, you know, I definitely I come from both of them. But I don't think I'm I don't think I'm you know the only one. There's you know there's uh, so many people that you know live with this every day. I believe one of the reasons why I've stayed so healthy is because I've kept a positive mindset through this whole experience. And it feels like a no-brainer, but it really is um, something that you have to consciously do. Yeah, of course I have my slip-ups, you know, I'm not perfect by any means, but I am always working to be more positive, to be happier, to be more active. I'm always building. Overall, uh, I have noticed a great difference in my attitude and, you know, just how happy I really have been because I've chosen to be happy. I became happier when I decided to get out of my apartment. <laughs> when I think of happy, I think of all the people I love and all the things that I love to do. As I started to only surround myself with the people that made me happy and the things that made me happy, I in turn started to just be a happier person. You can't change what's happened to you, but you can decide where you go from here.